Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Hey everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, here with Super Bowl winning tight end Jermaine Wiggins. We are going inside the Patriots playbook with a look at the Dolphins, Saturday's opponent. Now, this is a much different Dolphins team than we saw in week one. Uh, they, that team started 0-7, they've won 5 of 7, and they've done a lot of their good work, Jermaine, on the ground, where Reggie Bush has rushed for over 100 yards in the past three games. He had a career high 203 against the Bills, and 76 of it came on this play. Uh, it was late in the fourth quarter. The Dolphins were winning 23-13 with about five minutes left, so the Bills knew they had to stop the run. They yep. had to get the ball back, so they're stacking the box and then tell us what happens. Well, what they do here, what Miami does, they're running a weak side iso play, a weak side isolation play. And what they're having here, they're doing, is they're taking the fullback and bringing him down and putting him right on the linebacker. I think uh, Richie Incognito does a really good job here. He pushes this this nose tackle onto the center and then climbs up for that linebacker. And now it's Reggie Bush's job. They do a good job front side man to man blocking here. Now as Reggie Bush comes down, he's following his fullback and to see what he does. And the fullback does a good job. And as this guy goes over the top, as he's doubled over the top, you're going to see Reggie Bush now, as everything starts to flow, you're going to see Reggie Bush cut it right back here. And that's when Richie Incognito does a good job, blocks this guy, and he's able to get through here because here's a safety that's unblocked who should make this play, but because of the fact he took a poor angle, he caught he got caught, caught, got caught behind this block right here, and that's what allowed Reggie Bush to now get into the second level and be one-on-one -on -one with a safety, and you could see he, his, his athletic ability. Once he got to that second level, he made this guy miss, and it was off to the races. Yeah, it was impressive. On, on the, watching on the coach's film on NFL Game Rewind, it looked like he was shot out of a yep. cannon. That's how fast he was. Uh, I, from the Patriots' perspective, we don't see these type of breakdowns very often, and I think a big thing is you point to the big guy in the middle, 75, Vince Wilfork. Mm -hmm. You know, even in that position, yeah. he doesn't get shoved around that much. That's got to be a big benefit. Yeah, I think that's a huge benefit here because now if you have a defensive tackle that can just get moved so quickly, it, it allows and gives the, the offensive line the ability – Instead of him doubling so long, now he can climb to the second level and get a body on the linebacker. Because if you have a guy like Vince Wolfwalk and the problems he'll create is they'll have to take a lot more time on this double team, and that leaves linebackers free. So it's hard for offensive guards to now get up and get to the second level of linebackers and put bodies on guys like Mayo. So that's why you see them. They have such great ability to now make plays and make tackles because Vince does a great job of eating up double teams. Yeah. What, one last question. Off of the Broncos game, and, and considering how the Dolphins have rushed the ball of late, any, any worry there? or do you? I don't think there's a major worry there, but what I'm going to be looking for the Patriots defense to do is maybe play a lot more 3-4. I think you've seen them go, you saw them go to a 3-4 against the, the Denver Broncos in the second quarter, which helped against that run. But not only that, with the loss of Andre Carter, I think now that puts them in having to play more of a 3-4 defense than a 4-3 because they lose a guy in Andre Carter who's really a 4-3 defensive end. So I think you'll see that. I'd like to see a lot more because the 3-4 is basically a run-stopping yeah. defense. Yeah, that's true. Well, this will be a good playoff tune-up um, for the Patriots, so we'll see what happens on yeah. Sunday. Thanks, Jermaine. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next week on Inside the Playbook.